Hi, survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. Y'all forgive me today. Monday, the weather. Um, Y'all, it's cold everywhere. It's really cold everywhere. I just got off the road and it's snow everywhere. I've been to a lot of cities and states in the last four days. When I tell y'all, it's freezing, freezing below temperature, snow, ice everywhere. That's just not in Texas, y'all, I'm telling you. Because you know these people are not going to tell you everything. Y'all follow Weatherman Plus if y'all really want to know what's going on with the weather. Seriously, the weather, I want to say it's just as much as important or probably even more in regards to prepping. Because the weather can affect a lot of things. It can destroy, it destroys the crops. A lot of time in doing this, these agendas, um, it could it could take your whole you know house down, car down, your preps, all that. You know, I've been through it several times. So, and it affects your health. You know what I'm saying? So, I just like to encourage people to really follow the weather. It's so much crazy weather, erratic weather, that's going on these days. And people ignore it. It's like if it's normal. It's natural. Ain't nothing natural about it. Uh, let gently. We've been in targeted. We've been targeted. Some people saying that it might be aliens. You know, from other countries. I mean, from other uh, galaxies and spaces. There are some people blaming it on man. I'm saying that this weather is an agenda. I'm gonna say allegedly. But be careful. Be very, 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 very careful dealing with this weather. And then they use that weather also. It affects the food. So then that's another reason to increase the prices on everything. You know, that's another reason and way to substitute real natural healthy foods for something disgusting, unnatural and something that can eradicate people. The weather. We never in our lives seen this type of erratic weather. Look at Texas. Look how they look how they even just froze Texas over again. Millions of people out there without lights. That's why I was on my way to. I was on my way back to Texas and I had to turn around because the roads were impassable. The grid is down. So I already know how Texas is. I've been through grid down situations in Texas a lot. A lot. Trucks can't come in there. Nobody can really get out of there. That food go nasty in the market. The food go nasty in your house unless you have ways of uh, preserving it. Everything nasty. Instantly. Then in Texas, it's, it, it, the floods. So when that ice melt, snow melt, that water got to go somewhere. Texas is not equipped for this type of weather. Whoever's doing these things know that. It's all agendas, y'all. Allegedly. But that's what's really going on. Whether it's aliens, UFOs, whatever, whatever, whatever whoever they want to blame on. Blame it on. I don't think it's natural. That's my opinion. I didn't live through it too many times. I, I got a spirit of discernment. I feel things. I was in that Texas winter storm. It wasn't nothing natural about that. But as I was saying, y'all, this weather going to get millions and millions of people sick. A lot of people immune system um, can't keep up with it. You know? And then it's going to compromise a lot of different systems. It's going to compromise the infrastructure. It's going to compromise the food. It's going to compromise a person's livelihood and well-being. I called uh, different places in Texas, right? Because I had comments, people in Texas saying, and everywhere else saying, like, they couldn't even get shelter. The shelters were all full, y'all. People who lost their homes or their homes were inhabitable because the grid was down or water was coming in their house, whatever the case is was looking for shelters and there was no shelters, y'all. Not only there's no shelters because of the weather, there's no shelters because people lost their houses 
and apartments because of this insane, what they want to call inflation, but I call it agendas. And the landlords raising up these prices and because of the prices of the lights, water, gas, food, and all that. There's no more shelter, y'all, for us. There's shelters for people who are legally crossing the border, though. There's shelters for people of overseas who getting billions of our dollars. They getting all the help, y'all. We not getting any. People around me as I was traveling was complaining about that, saying they can't get help. They had warming centers. They had, like, tell me how, how much this don't make sense. They had warming centers for people to go into in Texas during the day. And then at night, they had to figure, figure out where they was going to go. They supposed to have been able to go to shelters at night, but all the shelters are filled and packed. So what are people supposed to go when it's freezing cold outside at night? All this stuff is a setup. That's why I try to encourage people. Y'all better put back some money. Put put up, put your money into some gold and some silver and some land. Some beans and some bullets and some rice. Some and some very important assets. Some honey, some sugar, some, some salt. Some teas and some seeds. Some coffee. Some hot chocolate. These are very important. Uh, and preps and Canadian prepper made a video about it the other day. These are very essential, seven essential prepping items to have. Y'all better put the, you know, he didn't, and he didn't mention the land. I mentioned the land. I mentioned the gold. I mentioned the silver and the beans and the bullets. He mentioned some other things, but y'all, these times, these emergency times, y'all, I think they doing like really evil, evil, wicked, wicked witchcraft. I wouldn't be surprised because. It's like all these bad things. This, this, these things are demonic. I'm telling you, they're demonic. There's nothing godly about any of this stuff that's going on, y'all. This weather is a weapon these days. Be careful. Keep you some ginger and honey and lemons at your house. I was so happy to get back home. I was like, I'm not worried about it. As soon as I get home, I'm going to knock this stuff right out of me. Some pure honey, some lemons, some ginger. Some purified water. You use one of these little, if you don't have ways to purify your water, this is another way I purify my water. This thing ain't up like $20, $30. But you, if you're drinking tap water, you might want to get away from that or cooking with it. Put your water in something like that. That's a cheaper option for people, you know, who can't afford the Berkeley's and all that. But um, be careful with the weather, y'all. That's all. I just want to make that announcement. And um, please follow me on my other preppers in. YouTube channel, the links will be in, in the description just in case they take this one down, uh, take the videos, you know, they've been censoring truth. Please follow me on Patreon for real, raw, uncut, unfiltered content. I got a lot of new videos on there, y'all. Y'all might want to check them out. A lot of stuff that I can't say on here. Things that happen to me on the road and traveling. So I tell y'all, if y'all don't have to travel, don't travel. Please support the allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirt if you can. All the proceeds go back into the channel. If you'd like to make a donation to this channel, please do it by way of my cash app or PayPal. Don't hit the thanks button. 